What's up, y'all? Welcome to the uh, last take. I'm tired, and I really don't like doing this stuff that much, or I'm not really used to it. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna go through this um, workflow here for this singing uh, animation I did with iClone and the Meta Human. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right. So um, first thing you do is you know you do your create a script here. Um, yeah, Aculeps. Let me see. Uh, make sure I choose my guy here. Create your script, Aculeps. Okay. Um, once you got your Aculeps up and going, I already got mine down here. So um, you would um, let me bring it up for the people who don't know how to you know do this stuff yet but you know go add your audio in here once you have your audio file in you you might want to just try you tr you could try and generate your um the text here but normally uh it, it doesn't come out you know the exact text that that's in the audio so you probably just want to go through and type it out yourself or maybe go online and do an audio to text and you know something something better but once you get that in there you could go ahead and you know try to align them and if it doesn't align um you know perfectly what I, what I do is um I normally just go through like a few words at a time in the audio and do the ins and out so go please ahead and don't play text it. me all right and then I'll do in audio in from the beginning here, bring this in there. You bring your ends, and then you go to the end of that audio to where you know your words, your word is, and you know you do it out, and then you just align select it. And what you would do is just go through each of these, you know, line by line, just so you could make sure everything is aligned. So later on, you won't have to do too much down here. All right. And if they're not aligned perfectly, you you can always go here and you know move the words to the audio so they can align with the audio that they're in okay and once you have all that done you go down here and apply all and that should be good um, next thing you want to do is um, if still everything isn't perfect you know everything isn't perfectly aligned um, let me just play my best of me here don't text me when you're drunk Ooh, or don't text me at all As you can see, I do have some um, unnecessary visme in there, but you know what you can do is uh, you go here. Like if if you feel like the the mouth shape doesn't match the uh, the words that the person is saying, you could always go down here and um, you know frame by frame just put the right uh, mouth shape for the audio that you see. It, it can be a little bit tedious, but um, you know it's it's not really a lot of them you have to do because the uh, the automatic visme does it really well. But you know some of them, if they're off, you could always go through and you know just put them in there or and um and or you know move them over left to right wherever you know so they can align perfectly with the words. But if you did the um if you did the previous step they should be like you know in the right places and um yeah and this me doesn't do any of those um dragon of words too so um a lot of that stuff isn't gonna work like the ah uh, so you could do a little ooh but not you know not too much yeah and once you have all your this me stuff done and you feel like it's great you got a nice this me done you know you got a nice little mouth and jaw movement going for the words um you just want to right click and go to your talk style and i'm currently using the uh, enunciating talk style but you know you can use singing if you're doing the singing stuff or you know normally when you're doing like you know um you know actual animations you know where people are doing dialogue you do the smooth or the bellowing that's what i do um or just click through see which one works best and you can also adjust each of the the visme strength here you know their smoothness and stuff so they won't get all janky um you know down up here too all right once you choose that 
um those are the pretty much normal steps you're going through lip options um something here to notice um whenever you reopen a file i guess iclone um resets to the default when it comes to these stuff right here these little um smooth adjustments and this happens with the expressions too so because um normally uh well the from the, my previous render it was at five and now it's back to default at three but um you can move yours up to about four or five depending on how smooth you want your visit me um to be um this is uh oh, good for me i guess and bring it up to four you can see the mouse shape move yeah. let's move it out all right and yeah it's gonna keep it all right and you could also adjust the clip strength you know bring it up to smooth it out a little bit more too um, if you want to turn the clip strength up too um, but i'm good with that um once you have that done you feel like you know it's a good enough uh visa it doesn't have to be crazy perfect but you know once you got good jaw and mouth movements um on a lot of the words so most of the words or even all of them if you want to be um really clean um you know go through clean them up make sure it's you know it's right all right once that's done um we're gonna move on to um the face stuff so we're gonna go to motion live bring motion live up bring my live face in here um what i normally start with are the mouth and this is from one of the previous 20 takes i did all right so what i normally do is um this and make sure um this is on okay and since the visami um does the mouth and the jaw movements um and you want to keep a lot of the um you know the actual mouth and jaw movements from the visami um i normally pull them down pull the jaw movement down and what i would normally do is um i would turn the the visami down right bring my expression back up and i would just preview this stuff and i would you know I don't like, like i would do open my jaws and my mouth as wide as i can and then i would just adjust his face to make sure you know it doesn't get all deformed like um uh, just see if i can do an example here Text you when I'm sober cause I'm under being over you uh, So pop Text you when I'm sober cause I'm under being over you uh, So pop another round I I'm just So since uh since i had uh already had an expression um face recorded data down here and try to do blend with new recording it kept doing that but all right yep from from my uh example here with the jaws please don't text me when you're drunk Ooh, or don't text me at all Text you when I'm sober cause I'm under being Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on here. Uh Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my life face. Hold on. Please don't text me when you're drunk. Or don't text me at all. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hey. Yeah, something is up. Let me see. Give me a second here. Maybe it'll work 
this time. Please don't text me when you're drunk. Ooh, or don't text me at all. Text you when Yeah, I I don't know what's going on with my uh live link right now. I just did like twenty takes with this thing and I was not working. But what I was trying to say is um what you would do is try to adjust these things like your your jaw movements, like open your jaws as wide as you can and kind of just adjust it. To his jaws here to make sure you know um it's in the right position and stuff like that you get what i'm saying let me just uh he's on the right guy you just adjust the, the jaws make sure it's in the right no right position and same in, with the mouth the mouth does a lot of um give you a lot of those um micro movements in the mouth so um that divisomy doesn't do so you will probably want to keep a little you know bring it down a bit but keep a little bit of it you know maybe close to the jaws as possible and you know it just kind of depends on um your mouth you know you want to open your mouth too and just um adjust it you know do like a little ah uh, o oh, oh, or whatever and same with the cheeks you know do like puff your cheeks out or you know do like a big smile and adjust your cheeks um to to the to the cheeks on the uh iclone character to make sure it's not all crazy and weird looking and once that's done you just go ahead and you would record the jaws and the mouth all together right and once that's done uh you should also when you're doing the um the recordings for the eyes and the, the uh, eyelids and the brows and turn these off and you want to do a blend date on next recording when you you know for you guys are doing this so you want to um you want to bring the brows uh the brow down a lot because you know or, or match it to um like i said to your to your guy you know you do the live face and move your brow your brow down to make sure you know his doesn't go um go crazy and same thing with the eyelids bring the eyelids a little bit down close them you know close your eyelids open them up while on live face uh, make sure you're good and the eyeballs bring them down a bit so that you know they won't be all crazy moving all over the place and then you would do another layer of um you know uh recording for the uh the eyes okay so face the cheeks jaws jaws and mouth and then you do the eyes and you know you adjust the jaws you bring the jaws down some you know everything is at 100 when you start like the head rotation here so you just bring them down you know and adjust them to your face and uh once you get your recording done we're gonna go back down here next and we're gonna smooth them out and um I, this is from a previous take, but um, when you when you reopen, uh, for some reason when you reopen a file, uh, iClone defaults these back to the center, which is thirty. And so what what you normally do is just bring these down, bring the muscles down, which is the mouth and the all this stuff down to probably about one or two, depending on how smooth you want it to be your um expressions you know because they come out a bit like choppy from your uh, face recording. So you want to bring it down to probably about one or two same thing with the eyeballs and the the blink you know i probably want to bring them up a little bit more if you're going to keep the head rotation from the live link you probably want to smooth that out too and bring that um probably a bit bit more but uh, i'm not going to use the head rotation from the live link i actually have the rotation from the body so um yeah but you bring them the main thing here is the muscles you want to bring that down probably about one or two or you know whichever one you feel is uh one two or three whichever level you feel is really good and smooth but don't bring it up too much because it starts slowing it down it starts slowing down the um the movements of the mouth okay and that doesn't work well with like singing stuff all right once you got that done um what you do next is um you would sample this okay 
and um when you sample this what you do now is just go through just play through the clips and i have the my meta human up so what i would do here is um the meta human um upper lip normally is like up a lot so um i would just normally just go through and see where um in the clip his um lips um you know on the meta human is like really up compared to this guy and you can see his his face is a bit weird here but a lot of his face is like supposed to um a lot of his face is like really keyed for the meta human here so i kind of just move stuff around for the meta human you're gonna see a, a lot of difference when it comes to the eyes too but um so if you want to you know move through and key some stuff you just get a key if you feel like something here like you know if i'm looking at the meta human his teeth may be up a little um showing a bit i will go in here and i'll probably go to the muscles and i'll use this the this one right here to get the eyes or to bring the mouth down some you know and you know uh sometimes in here you could do the mouth pucker too to, to deal with that but i normally just use the muscles here to move the lips up and down however i want to Oh, see, there we go on the meta human. Oh. Yeah, but that's how you know you would do it. I would just go through each of these, and if you're going to use the meta human. Um, I'll just go, you know, connect the live link and just do frame by frame because when you do your final re um, recording or um, in Unreal, it's, you know, you want it to match. You want the meta human face to be the face that actually has, you know, the right face keys and stuff like that. Like, you don't have to worry about how his face looks here because his face looks really different from what the meta human face looks like right now. <laughs> All right. But um yeah, once you once you feel like you got a lot of those keys right, you know, feel like the face looks okay, you could also, you know, move the whichever muscles you want and um the eye stuff. I normally do the eye stuff later later, but um yeah, you could just move a lot of the um uh, facial muscles and the uh, mouth mouth in here. And then when you're done, just highlight everything and right click and transition curves. And I do ease in and out and I bump it up to like one hundred. Don't know if it does much, but uh, I guess it's supposed to make it a bit more smoother. I guess I don't know. You can choose whichever one works best for you, but um, I normally do ease in and out, and bring this up to one hundred. And it it slows down a bit when you click on it. That's why I'm not gonna click on it right now. It takes a bit to like do all the keys. So um, yeah, depending on how fast the computer is, this is like a laptop I'm on right now. Um, I got um the uh, Unreal on my computer going right now. So yeah but yeah transition curves um ease in and out 100 that should help you probably want to do that for these two all right right click transition curves for you know these the head and the eyes and when you're done you just go ahead and flatten it back out and then you do um just for good measures it's here why not right do ease in and out bump it up to 100 and you should have something really cool. Um, now, um, once all of that is done, um, what you want to do here now is um, adjust these here. So um, I I want more of the visami for the mouth movement because um, the uh, mouth movement is more accurate for the visami, and um. You know you're not gonna get uh 100 percent accurate coming from the um the live link it gets it's a lot of it is a lot ch you know, it's it's choppy and you know as much as you smooth it out you still get a bit um you know so what you just want to get from the expression um the live link mouth stuff is you know, some of the subtle stuff to add to the uh the visami so you would just try to use these to blend them in and even remember why i called you so and you know, that's how I bump this up some a little bit, see what it looks like on the meta human. And I'm not worried about his head rotation. You know, as you you see it, look at his eyes right here. If you see the meta human eyes, they're not this wide. But I did use um at the end here, um what I normally do is uh use face key. And it brings that same thing up and 
I would, you know, in Unreal Engine, I will align my camera. And if you can see Matter Human right now, he's not looking at the camera, but because uh, I did some face key from pre from uh, my first body uh, mocap that I did. And I ended up doing a few more takes and settled on the last one and decided not to go back and do all these keys for the eyes. So the, the, the eyes are like a bit off, not looking to the camera, but... What you would normally do here is you know, set your camera up and if you want your meta human to be looking at you or looking at the camera, you would just, you know, you probably want to be looking at him and to get that eye contact and you would just move the eyes, you know, to look at you. And you just go through frame by frame to get like the correct rotations or the, you know, a, a better way to get rid of some of that um, uncanny stuff with the with the eyes because that's where most of the stuff you know most of that uncanny stuff happens with the eyes the eyes don't lie so you know what i would do is just go through you know with my cameras and unreal and my meta human and you know live link and just scope you know a couple frames at a time to make sure the eyes or you know they're looking okay and you know just adjust and once that's done, you probably, you know, you could also do some stuff with the mouth and all the other stuff too. The brows, same thing, but I normally use these right here, you know. These right here. Or whatever. No. These face morph stuff is a bit better to use. And that kind of helps with making everything look a bit better. And once that's done, you probably want to go and, you know, probably do some transition curves or some smooth stuff you redo that stuff over again but once that's done you should have something like this Ooh, or don't text me at all okay. uh. hey i won't text you when i'm sober cause i'm under being over you Let's uh, bring in the uh, Unreal Engine here so you guys can see some of this stuff. All right, so um, I got my meta human here. As you can see, I need him to be looking at the camera. He's actually looking at the camera here, so it's pretty good. Uh. So pop another round. So like right here, something right here, I would just probably move his eyes. And I would look at him too, you know, just to get that eye contact. Uh, trying to get it. There we go. I think I got eye contact with you. Yeah. It's cool once you, you know, you move the, uh, so got some of this stuff here. Moved his cheeks too, but uh, yeah, that's cool though, right? You know, you can move his eyes to look at the camera and all that stuff, you know. You just probably just go through a few frames at a time just to get the right uh, angle. And depending on how your camera is set up. Yeah. But. Yeah, I'm up running high Unless I get some liquid courage on my tongue One tequila, two tequila, three tequila floor I've been watching too many movies alone on board I don't even remember why yeah, And he probably looks weird because he doesn't have any body motions going But uh, yeah That's crazy man a human man but that's kind of my workflow hope, hopefully that helps out a little bit you know i'm i'm not really that great at doing this tutorial stuff so um hopefully i helped you guys out a little bit but if you guys have any questions you know just hit me up you know i'll, I'll help out i don't mind all right take care